that lane. Brown the higher seed. Messenger? No, dropped away. That Tournament of Champions berth. Yeah, there, there's a lot of things that can be creeping in that you don't want to creep in. Right now, the focus is the job. Oh, and there it goes through the face. And the 4-9. Doherty left that, plus the 4-7-9 last game. Didn't get too much 4-pin, so an open for Charlie Brown. That's better. That's better. Yes, it is. That is indeed better. Charlie Brown Jr. And beautiful shot for Tease. Do you hear that? Sometimes they just don't fall your way. Physical issues like what? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. It was just something about the ball kept fitting my hand, feeling to the right off my hand, and I couldn't figure out why, so I just moved my eyes. Big swings, and we're happy to finish three frames yet. Makeable, but never. That's beautifully done. Yep. Smothered it right in the pocket of the 3-6. Uh, when I came over here and looked at that final instruction, and I went back over here, that's when it grabbed right away. Yeah. So like, oh. And so a solid four pin. So Randy translate a little bit of that conversation with Chuck. Knows you don't move a board, you move four or five. But this long, slick shark wall pattern, we'll see if one and one's enough. Get there. Perfect. Here's mom and dad who made the trip from England. Brenda and Morris. We'll see how he manages his game from there. Ooh, that's way right. Okay. Well, every little bit helps there, getting a... All right, does not let that one completely get away from him, the frame. Oh, 710 was there for a blink of an eye, and the you can see the pin wobble that meant during the front. That's our Barbasol close shave of the tip. So Tease off a strike in the fifth, trails by only seven. Took a little. And Messenger. another week 10. The well, messengers are not coming through today in this show. You're in his fifth year. Oh, he got a nice break on that light hit. Hook, hook. Oh, no, it didn't hook. And Brown now has lost the form on, Charlie, that come on. got him in the final. Hold on. Big hold shot. On. Nope, missed the head pin there. Real tight in his target in front of him. Sit, sit. Oh, and he got rid of that nine. Charlie Brown Jr. might be in a world of hurt. Oh, no. Light a back and forth match. Spare. Oh, that's absolutely dead solid perfect. Why don't you hook anymore? So what's the answer to that question? I think the target's too far right. I think his eyes throw it right at the wall. Oh, he got that. Come on. Messenger took out a 7-10. Some folks did not see the seven pin. Still Lee Brown Jr. and Richie Teese making their television debuts. Beautiful, that's exactly what Charlie Brown Jr. had to do. A 176. And he's going to win. But look at the lane.
No, it wasn't a bad show, Richie. Congratulations to a first time winner on the PBA Tour. This time for our Geico Championship recap, and this is where it all kind of went wrong for Charlie Brown Jr. Yeah, it was three consecutive shots on the right lane that didn't hit the head pin. And this young man steps up in the tenth, needing just a mark. And what better mark is it than the flush ten back? Richie Teese wins for the first time ever. Oh my God. <laughs> Mom and Dad had just flown in from London. Thanks, guys. Last night. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bill. And what a thrill for them and for Richie Teese. And he was standing by with Kimberly.